All right, so this is something different for me, but I just wanted to um, kind of show you what I got here. So um, there is a band called The Blamed. They've been around for quite a while. They were originally, when I f discovered them, they were on uh, Tooth & Nail Records, and they had come through town a few times, and I, um, I was fortunate enough to play in a band that got to open for them. And... Um, got to be um, friends with the guitar player, Brian. And anyway, um, every once in a while they put out some new merch and this year they put out some stuff and I want to just kind of show you what I got. And I, the reason why is I was extremely excited um, with everything that they kind of threw in. So let's take a look here. So the first thing that I got was this. Let's see if I can do a better job of <laughs> getting this out. So uh, it's, for those of you who don't know, I mean, this says the blamed, but it's a in the traditional Striper font, the band Striper, and the blamed did a cover of reason for the season um, right before Christmas this year. So they put out a limited edition um, striper edition of their shirt. And so I wanted to pick that up. So that was one of the items that I got. Now, uh, don't get me wrong. The blamed is not, <laughs> they don't traditionally sound like striper, but they are uh, they're more, they started off more of a punk band and then they got into doing, um, a little bit more hardcore punk. And here is a, um, I believe this is the DVD. Uh, I'd have to double check. Uh, but it's the Flatfoot 56 and the Blamed, I believe it's their live show in 2020. Um, so that was... Another part of the order. Now, those are, those are the two things that I actually ordered in this, and um, so I want to kind of show you the other stuff. Grab ba glad grab bag <laughs> of things that came with the order. Now, they sent added the the button, which I always put these. I have a backpack that I like to put those on. They sent some picks. There was a couple picks, I believe. There you go. And they sent man, a ton of stickers. Now, Singer does not look like that. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not sure who that's supposed to be. It reminds me of somebody. I'll have to ask and see. Um, so there's that. This is the original artwork for, I believe it was the, um, Blamed 21 album. The satire. Now the satire is a side project, uh, Brian from the blamed he does and it's a very very heavy very chaotic band um so if you're interested in that kind of stuff um you might want to check that out that's really cool and just to give you a, a point of reference generally at a show like way back in the day you could pick up a sticker for a buck but nowadays, I mean, you go to, a, especially if you go to a big show, stickers are like $5. And these were all like thrown in to, to this package deal. And um, I wanted to uh, see if this was something that they, that it was just kind of like, because I knew him, they kind of threw that in. Uh, and he, he uh, indicated that, no, this is something that they do for everybody. 
generally they throw in stickers and pics and and stuff and so i just thought that was super cool uh i mean kind of a swag bag type of thing here you know ordered just a couple little things and bam i got all this and you know if you were to add up these stickers um that's it, that's i just think that's really cool uh if you guys don't know the blamed into the blamed i definitely recommend go out and give them a try uh, they are uh, really fun. Um, they started, like I said, they started off kind of more of a punk band. Uh, they got into more a little more punk hardcore. Uh, I think there was a, one other sticker that was thrown in here. Um, one of the members, I have to see what happened to it. Maybe it fell on the floor or something. Um, one of the members, bra um, Jim, actually was in... The Crucified, which was um, one of the very earliest like hardcore punk bands uh, that kind of came on the scene, and um, one of the first punk bands I hardcore type Christian punk bands I ever heard of. So he was actually the Blames drummer, um, and the uh, the Frail album, which was the second album that they put out, uh, was what kind of drew me to them. And they've put out a lot of material since then, um, and a lot of cool stuff. And uh, anyway, they seem to kind of gone, gone back to that frail album style. Um, they re-released, if memory serves me right, <laughs> the first album, um, 21, or they're releasing some songs from that. Uh, got a horrible memory. Um, but they're, they seem to be a little bit heavier than the original, um, but which I like because I'm definitely into the a little bit heavier uh, stuff, but aren't we all anyway? Uh, but they, uh, if you haven't given them a try, I definitely say, I definitely recommend go out there and listen to their stuff, uh, support the band if you can. And um, I know that they still will, um, they play some of the festivals, the bigger festivals sometimes. Uh, so like, I think Furnace Fest, if memory serves me right. Uh, so anyway, I hope uh, you all have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves and God bless. And thank you for watching. Bye.